I'm going to make some pretty quick adjustments to two images that were not originally shot in RAW, and then to one that was. With this image, it was a dark, gray, cloudy day, but I don't want everyone to know that. So I'll choose File, Open in Camera Raw, and I'll boost the exposure. I'll zoom in a little with Command Plus or Control Plus, or simply hit the plus on my keyboard to see how I'm affecting the actual building. I'll give it a little bit more contrast. I'm washing out here in the building a bit, so I'll protect my highlights. And I'll hit the minus to zoom down a bit. And now I'll adjust my shadows, plugging up all the detail, or opening up those shadows, and rich in the blacks. So with just a few moves, before, after, before, after. I could probably use a little bit of clarity as well. And if I notice that it looks slightly blue overall because it was a dark, cloudy day, I could move just a bit towards yellow and just a bit towards magenta to warm it up. Before, after. Now maybe I do want to keep some of the cloud detail. That's when this targeted adjustment tool will let me pick a tone like this gray in the cloud and simply drag down to darken or drag up to lighten. And it will affect tones throughout your image. So I'm still creating a bit more of a brighter day, but I've kept more of that cloud detail. So I'll hit done on this one and a huge improvement when Bridge updated the preview. I'll go to this next one and open in Camera Raw again since it wasn't originally shot in Raw. Dial the exposure down because this day was very bright, although there are some large clouds. I'll boost the contrast and just go through my standard procedure of adjusting these sliders until I get what I consider the perfect image or the best image I can get out of what I captured. Now here you could see the blue in the background in the sky, but as I mouse over this area, I'm getting all 254, maybe a slight variation. So this was completely blown out in the initial shot. There's not a lot I can do to bring that back. But what I can experiment with is the targeted adjustment to affect the overall sky and any tones that hit close to that. I can click and drag to richen it down or click and drag up to brighten it more. In this shot, the skater's point is paramount and I'm gonna let the sky drop out. It's not as important. In fact, I could add my own in Photoshop if I so choose. So I'll check and uncheck the preview and it's a world better. Before, I lost a lot of detail in these palm trees. The overall image was pretty flat. After, everything is richer, more vibrant, and more clear. In fact, if I want more color, because there's a lot of tones in this iron sculpture here, I could boost the vibrance to see a bit more of those actual tones. So again, before, after. I didn't even know I had all of that detail in the image to capture. So I'll hit done on this one. And on the last one, this was shot in RAW. So I'll come to my Nikon N1 folder and I'll open this clock tower picture. Now, this looks flat. So again, I'll brighten with exposure, add a little contrast, protect the highlights a bit. Shadows will open up the dark details, and if you brighten all the dark details to richen it back up, you can darken the blacks. Now I'm happier with this overall, except for the fact that I lost the sky. So I'll turn preview off and on and see how blue that sky was, and now it looks a little washed out, a little cyan. But I'm happy with the tower, so instead of losing my corrections there, and I can't stop playing, sorry, I need to step away from the mouse. 
Instead of losing those corrections there, I'll go to the Targeted Adjustment tool, grab that rich blue, and drag down to bring it back. Huge. I can wipe it all together if I so choose, but just sliding down with that Targeted Adjustment until I reach the saturation of blue from the original shot, here's before, here's after. Everything looks better. I could come in and make this a little darker if I want, before, after. And I'll boost it finally with some clarity and some vibrance, before, after. Excellent. Now I'll hit done, and just for fun, we'll come back to bridge, and I have two shots of the same tower here, a little bit more of the bottom. So I will go to Edit, Develop Settings, copy what I did there, click here, Edit, Develop Settings, Paste, and click OK. Now I want to stitch these two together. I'll use Shift to select both, Tools, Photoshop, and Photo Merge to build one panoramic so you really catch the scope and overall look and feel of what I saw when I took a picture of this tower here in Austria. We'll give it a moment to finish. Photoshop is creating a layer out of each shot, and it even will blend, scale, and do a mask so that these line up dead on perfect. If I look with the Shift key and Shift click, you can see a little bit of the stitching and color correction on the seam, but now I have an outstanding shot. And I'll finish it off with a selection. I can use my arrow keys to nudge. I can use Option or Alt to take away some of the bottom. And now I'll do Image Crop. And there is my final color corrected, blended, targeted sky version. And let's get rid of the cables because they are taking away from the overall look of the image. So I will use my patch tool. But instead of keeping the layers, I'll flatten it. That way I don't have a 69 megabyte file. I'll end up with 32. So if you're happy with the blend that it did and you're committed, which I am, I can choose from my layer menu, flatten image. And now, under the spot healing brush, use my patch tool to select this portion and repair with this sky. If I miss any parts, I can make another selection and repair again, or I often forget this, edit fill, content aware, and click OK. It's a newer feature, so I forget to go there first, but it did an outstanding job. And you would never know the cables were in the shot. So back to bridge, take some time, experiment, with skies that you're losing, that's where I commonly use this, or any tone that's being wiped out with the overall correction, by using the targeted adjustment tool to make your skies richer or brighter, or to bring back any tone lighter or darker. Good luck with Adobe Camera Raw and targeted adjustments.